the business will change in the next years and uh, I think it's important that Volvo, we should be in the lead and we should contribute to transforming our business. It's really about going from selling cars into delivering mobility services to our customers. Autonomous drive is, of course, very interesting and will be a groundbreaking technology changing a lot. First of all, it uh, enables us to take the really big next step when it comes to safety, but it also enables the consumers to spend hours in the car doing something else than just sitting driving. The Volvo 360 concept is really an exploration of design possibilities of what a full autonomous, full electric car could bring. I mean, in recent years, we've all seen a lot of different autonomous vehicle concepts, but to be honest, they've mainly focused on the technical possibilities. But Volvo is a human-centric brand, so we actually wanted to explore how full autonomous vehicles fit into the needs of people and how we can bring quality time back into our customers' lives. So the 360 concept is based on a single platform. It's also based on a, a single exterior design. But what we've looked at is four different interior scenarios. A vehicle, for instance, that is your commute to work. So it picks you up in the morning, takes you to work, you have breakfast and, and enjoy watching the news. A second idea was actually to have an alternative to, to an office space. So you actually pick up a client, present your work uh, projected onto the side screen, have fresh coffee, etc. And then we had a bit of fun with a, a kind of VIP party uh, vehicle that would take you from maybe the client's hotel to a, to a restaurant. And then the fourth one, which for me is the most interesting, is actually an alternative to air travel. Imagine a vehicle that picks you up from your home or work and takes you directly uh, to your destination in another city for the next day. Domestic air travel sounds good when you book your ticket. In reality, it's a hassle going through the airport before you actually end up on the plane. So you spend more time going into the plane than on the plane, and it's not really pleasant at all. The airplane industry is gigantic. We have hundreds of millions of domestic air travel every year, and it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So it's a massive business opportunity to find an alternative to this. The 360 concept is a way to start thinking about airlines on wheels instead of airlines on wings. Suddenly a car could compete with domestic air travel and you could view Volvo then as an aircraft manufacturer. When the Wright brothers invented aviation in 1903, they could not possibly have imagined the future of air travel. But they started something, and that, that leap of faith, the first 15 meters of flying, that was really the starting point for everything we see now. And I view the 360 also as a starting point. It's more like the right flyer than it's the final solution, but it will be a starting point for something totally different. Safety and autonomous drive, they really go hand in hand. Autonomous drive will give you time back, it will give you comfort, relaxation, but it will also increase the safety because it will take the stress and strain out of driving and increase the safety of the traffic situation. Autonomous drive will be introduced gradually, of course, and with that comes a mixed traffic situation. Non-autonomous cars mixed with autonomous cars, and that, of course, will add extra challenges. There will potentially be accidents also in the future, so we cannot forget about the protective safety. This will be as important in an autonomous car as it is in today's cars. Moving into a world where we have autonomous cars mixed with 
pedestrians, bicyclists, and other cars, we need to look into a universal standard for communication from autonomous car to the surrounding. And today, the communication with the driver is uh, very subtle, but with an eye contact. We need to translate that. With the 360C, we present the results from our research. And this research shows that communications through lights, sounds, and body motions is the way to show the intentions of the car. I think we are right now in the moment where we really need to discuss together how we would like our future cities to be. Yeah, if you look at a city, it's really designed around communication. That's the whole idea of a city. A million people living in the same place, but you need to communicate, you need to move around. It used to be by feet, by ship, by horse and carriage, and now it's by car. But of course, you also know how it is in, in the cities with all the congestion, all the parked cars. If you had driverless cars which could move around, did not need to park, they can be silent because they are electrical, it could really change the way a city looks like.